The day Elvis spoke my childhood mystery. Ever had a chat with a bus that came to life? I did, with a golden Elvis. His shimmering presence captivated me, and I found myself drawn into conversations with this inanimate yet strangely animated figure. It was as if the king himself had stepped into my world, just for me. The bust was unlike anything I had seen. Its golden hue seemed to glow, casting a warm light that was both comforting and intriguing. Elvis's features were meticulously crafted, capturing his charisma and iconic style. It dominated the room, a mesmerizing piece that demanded attention and sparked imagination. As a child, my curiosity knew no bounds. This golden Elvis was not just a statue. It was a companion on my imaginative journeys. I would spend hours staring into his eyes, talking about everything and nothing, believing wholeheartedly that he listened and understood my youthful musings. In our drawn-out chats, I shared dreams, fears, and wild stories. The bust seemed to nod along, its presence reassuring. I imagined it moving slightly, an imperceptible shift that made our interactions feel genuine and alive. These conversations were my secret, a delightful blend of imagination and perceived reality. The magic of those interactions filled me with wonder. Speaking to the golden bust felt like entering a new realm where anything was possible. Each conversation was an adventure, a chance to explore my thoughts with a legendary figure. It was pure joy, a testament to the power of imagination. Conversations with the golden Elvis bust were filled with wonder and excitement. Each chat felt like unlocking a secret world where imagination reigned supreme and reality blurred delightfully. The air seemed to shimmer with possibility, making each interaction a cherished adventure an enchanting moment suspended in time's gentle embrace. As a child, I didn't realize that speaking to a statue wasn't typical. In my world, the bust's gentle nods and knowing smiles seemed entirely natural. Innocence shielded me from skepticism, allowing me to embrace these magical moments without question, reveling in the extraordinary as if it were ordinary. The golden Elvis bust felt as real as any friend, it seemed perfectly normal that he would listen intently, offering silent wisdom. In my young mind, this magical reality was woven seamlessly into the fabric of my everyday life, a vivid tapestry of wonder and imagination that knew no bounds. The power of a child's imagination is boundless, capable of transforming the mundane into the magical. My mind painted vivid scenes where the bust came alive, dancing in golden hues. This limitless creativity turned simple conversations into epic adventures, each interaction a testament to the vibrant world born from a child's dreams. The allure of the golden paint was undeniable, casting a spell that captivated my senses. Its shimmering surface whispered tales of mystery and magic, drawing me in with its mystique. Under its golden glow, the bust seemed imbued with life, a radiant beacon in the landscape of my childhood imagination. The Elvis bust perfectly captured the iconic aura of the king of rock and roll, from the signature pompadour hairstyle to the confident tilt of his head. It radiated a charisma that seemed to echo the legend himself, drawing anyone who beheld it into its mesmerizing presence. My family, intrigued by the bust's grandeur, often speculated about its origins. It was a prized possession, gifted by an old friend who claimed it once adorned a music lounge in Memphis. This backstory only added to its mystique, making it a cherished part of our home. The craftsmanship of the bust was impeccable, with intricate details that brought Elvis to life. The sculptor had masterfully captured his enigmatic smile and magnetic gaze, adding a touch of realism that made it seem as though Elvis himself might start crooning at any moment. Placed prominently in the living room, the bust commanded attention. Its location was no accident, it was intended to be a conversation starter and a tribute to the musical legend. The golden hue complemented the room's decor, making it a centerpiece that naturally drew people in. Talking to the bust often revolved around imagined concerts and legendary performances. I'd ask Elvis about his favorite songs and tours, feeling a connection through these imaginary conversations. Though I loved his music, these chats were more about companionship than fandom, fueling my childhood fantasies. The Elvis bust was a masterpiece, with every detail meticulously crafted to capture the king of rock and roll's iconic features. 
The sculptor had paid close attention to his pompadour hairstyle and the signature curl of his lip, encapsulating the essence of Elvis in a strikingly lifelike form. Proudly displayed on the mantel in our living room, the bust commanded attention. It was placed there because my parents believed it added a touch of glamour and nostalgia. Its prominent position in the house made it a central figure in my childhood adventures and imaginary conversations. Our conversations ranged from music to dreams, with the bust as my silent confidant. I imagined Elvis sharing stories of his life, offering wisdom with a nod and a wink. These dialogues were my way of exploring the world through the lens of my childhood hero. I was captivated by Elvis's music, often dancing around the room to his energetic tunes. The bust served as a reminder of the joy his songs brought, weaving music into the fabric of my childhood memories. His voice was a familiar presence, echoing through our home and my heart. Among all my childhood memories, the enchanted dialogues with the Elvis bust remain vivid. They stand out as moments of pure imagination and wonder, a blend of reality and fantasy. This experience shaped my perception of art and music, leaving a lasting impression on my creative spirit. The golden Elvis bust, shimmering with a mythical charm, became a comforting presence during childhood. Its static form, somehow vibrant and alive, offered a unique companionship. In moments of solitude, this inanimate object filled the room with warmth, becoming more than just decor, an unexpected friend in a child's world. Amidst the many adventures of youth, the memory of conversing with the Elvis bust remains vivid. It stands out like a jewel among the tapestry of childhood recollections, a testament to the magic that imagination can weave. Those talks with Elvis, though improbable, remain a cherished highlight of innocence. The nostalgia tied to those days with the golden bust is profound. It evokes a longing for the simplicity and wonder of childhood, where anything seemed possible. The memory is like a time capsule, preserving the joy and enchantment of a time when the world was full of endless possibilities. Reflecting on those experiences, it's clear they taught valuable lessons about the beauty of imagination and the comfort it can provide. The Elvis bust was a reminder of the joy found in simple things and the importance of nurturing creativity, even in the most unconventional forms. Today, sharing this story brings a sense of connection to others. It invites them to reminisce about their own magical childhood moments, fostering a shared appreciation for the whimsical and the wondrous. It's an invitation to remember and celebrate the imaginative experiences that shaped us all. Reflecting on the animated conversations with my golden Elvis bust, I realized that the experience taught me the importance of imagination and wonder. It shaped my ability to find joy and magic in the mundane, reminding me to never lose sight of the enchantment life offers, even as an adult. Though the Elvis bust may no longer be a talking companion, its legacy lingers. It has influenced my appreciation for both art and music, fostering a deep respect for the stories and emotions they convey. This childhood memory nurtured a lifelong connection to creativity and expression. Imaginary friends, like my lively Elvis, are a testament to a child's boundless creativity. They provide companionship, understanding, and a safe space for exploring emotions. These invisible friends are essential in developing empathy and social skills, demonstrating the power of imagination in shaping our young minds. Inanimate objects often possess an enigmatic charm that captivates our imagination. The Elvis bust's mysterious allure lay in its ability to transcend its physical form, becoming a vessel for adventure and dialogue. This mystery invites us to explore the unseen potential within everyday items, sparking curiosity and creativity. Childhood beliefs are the foundation of our understanding of the world, shaping our perceptions and values. My belief in the animated Elvis bust reflected an openness to wonder and possibility. These beliefs encourage us to embrace the unknown, fostering resilience and adaptability as we navigate life's complexities. Childhood beliefs shape our understanding of the world by coloring our perceptions with wonder and possibility. They allow us to see magic in the mundane and believe in the impossible. These beliefs, often whimsical and unbound by adult logic, provide a foundation for creativity and open-mindedness as we grow. The Elvis bust, with its golden allure, may have sparked a budding interest in art or sculpture. 
such early fascinations often lay the groundwork for future passions, as the vivid memories of childhood imagination intertwine with the appreciation for artistic expression and the stories that objects can tell. Years later, I've attempted to recreate those magical moments with the Elvis bust, hoping to recapture the wonder of childhood. Though reality now tempers the fantasy, these attempts serve as comforting reminders of a time when imagination knew no boundaries and anything seemed possible. Family discussions around the Elvis bust often revolved around its peculiar presence in our home. While some dismissed it as a mere decoration, others delighted in the tales of its lifelike qualities. These conversations highlighted the diverse ways family members perceived and interacted with the same object. The emotional connection to objects from our past is profound as they serve as tangible links to cherished memories. The Elvis bust, much more than just a sculpture, represents a unique bond formed in childhood, a testament to the power of imagination and the comfort found in familiar things. Sharing childhood memories can be a joyous experience, bringing warmth and nostalgia. These stories often highlight the innocence and wonder of youth, reminding us of simpler times. By sharing, we connect with others on a personal level, discovering shared experiences and unique perspectives that enrich our understanding of those formative years. Storytelling is a powerful tool for preserving our past. Through stories, we pass down traditions, lessons, and emotions, keeping memories alive for future generations. These narratives shape our identity, providing insights into who we are and where we come from, while also entertaining and inspiring those who listen. Reflecting on magical childhood moments allows us to reconnect with our inner child. These reflections evoke feelings of happiness and curiosity, encouraging us to view the world with fresh eyes. By doing so, we remember the importance of wonder and imagination in navigating the complexities of adult life. Art provides a unique means of personal engagement, inviting us to explore emotions and perspectives. By interacting with art, we can discover new aspects of ourselves and the world around us. This personal connection to art transforms passive observation into an active dialogue, fostering creativity and a deeper appreciation of beauty. If you've ever experienced a magical moment in your childhood, share it with others. By doing so, you contribute to a tapestry of collective memories, sparking conversations and connections. Your story might inspire or comfort someone, illustrating the timeless bond we all share through our childhood experiences.